In this video we will discuss how to take history of stroke. Remember, patient to patient condition may vary. Ask to the patient why he came to hospital, to find out presenting complaint. In case of stroke, presenting complaint would be weakness of limbs. For example, weakness of right upper and lower limb. Some patients may stop after saying this and do not give sufficient information. Ask to the, tell me something more about your disease or weakness, to collect more information and start. In this way number of questions may be reduced. Anyhow, whenever you face a case of hemiplegia, adopt this sequence of questions while taking history from stroke patient. In which part of body do you feel weakness? Any weakness in other parts of body? Next question, from how long time do you have this weakness? Remember, it is very important to ask about onset of limb weakness like Weakness came suddenly or gradually Ask to the patient, what was the time, or what was you doing at that time when weakness developed? Then next question to the patient. Over period of time weakness is progressing, static or improving. Remember, it is very important while presenting a case to the examiner about progression. Point is that, while taking history, you should clear to the examiner which limb initially involved and later on weakness progress to involve other limbs. Also, it is very important to ask about previous history of stroke in that patient. Ask to the patient, is there any previous history of stroke or weakness of limbs? If he says yes, then ask when, which type, and on which side of body weakness developed before. Also, never forget to inquire about any residual weakness of that event. Now time to ask about associated factors. Start by asking about headache. Inquire about fits. Later on ask. Is there numbness in any part of your body? Is there any disturbed vision? Difficulty in speaking. Ask about control on bowel and bladder. Now, this is the time to ask some questions to rule out posterior circulation stroke. Ask to the patient, do you have vomiting, vertigo, or difficulty in hearing or difficulty in maintaining balance? Next, ask to the patient, is there any difficulty in swallowing? Now, the time is to ask the questions to find the etiology of stroke. Do you have high cholesterol levels? Do you have palpitations or irregular heartbeat or chest pain? If patient is young, and presents with hemiplegia then? Ask to the patient, is there previous history of joint pains, along with sore throat? Later on, ask to the patient, do you have any valvular heart disease? Do you have hypertension or diabetes? As we already discussed in previous videos on this channel. At this point just ask about hypertension is present or not. If you will start taking detail of diabetes at this point, you will distract from your main history, so ask about diabetes in detail in medical history later on. I focused on this point, because whenever patient says I have diabetes, then you should ask questions about diabetes in detail to satisfy the examiner. Now again we come to our main point, to find out the cause of stroke. Ask to the patient, are you taking any blood thinner medications previously? Or inquire about drugs like oral contraceptive pills. Or ask to the patient, is there previous history of formation of clots in blood vessels? Ask about fever, neck stiffness, history of tuberculosis in close family members to rule out TBM. Ask about early morning vomiting, headaches, lumps in body, weight loss to rule out space occupying lesion in brain. Ask about history of fall, or head injury to rule out subdural hematoma. While in systemic review, ask about oral ulcers, hair loss to rule out SLE as connective tissue diseases can present in similar way. Remember it is very important to ask about impact of disease on patient's life. Ask to the patient, can you go to washroom, can you change your own clothes? If patient unable to do, then ask who helps you.
Now at this stage, also ask about complications, which could develop after stroke like bed sores or infections. In personal history, ask about smoking and alcohol consumption, or in recreational drugs. Cocaine and amphetamine are recognized causes of stroke. While, in family history. Ask, is there family history of such disease? Also ask about ischemic heart disease along with stroke in family. We hope this video will help you, while preparing for clinical exams. Like and subscribe channel for next coming videos. Thanks.